Good day all, Prepper Pam here. Today I'm going to be making a lavender tincture. Um, we went to Fort Bragg and I picked a huge amount of lavender. If you could just smell it, it smells wonderful. Um, so you just, you, you pick your lavender and you cut it all up. You don't need to dry it. And you cut up the stems too. No reason not to use the stems. I use vodka. It is the best um, liquor to use when you're making your tinctures and um, it has to be at least 80 proof because the 80 proof will stop it from molding. So if you put this in the jar and it starts to mold, it's probably because you did not use 80 proof vodka. And it's, vodka is um, uh, it's kind of a mild of all the liquors too. Um, this I'm going to use in sprays. Um, it lightens your mood. You can spray your pillows with it. You can put it in bath water. There's many, many things you can do with your lavender tincture. You can even Google it and, you know, find other uses than what I use it for. But I use it for, you know, I spray myself with it when I get out of the shower, spray my pillow when I have a headache. I spray it, you know, on my arms. Just, it, I, I use it a lot. So you cut it all up very fine. Not real fine, but, you know, like that. Then you use a jar. I use a mason jar. You put it in the mason jar. Let's see here. Oh, need to get all of it. Don't let any of it, you know, roll away. Get it all. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I got this at Fort Bragg and it was just growing everywhere. Oh my gosh. Get all the little pieces. Okay. Then you're going to cover it with vodka. I don't drink, so this is, this is, uh, I don't even like the smell of the vodka. But, works wonders on the tinctures, though. So you're going to cover your lavender. I think I'll use all of it. Yeah. Okay. This is just a frosting spreader that I use. So squish it around. Make sure it's all covered. Mix it all up so there's no clumps. Get that vodka in there. And you're going to put the seal on and the ring. And you're going to leave it in the jar um, for seven days to a month. Uh, make sure there's no bubbles in it. And um, place the container in a dark, a dark place. And it's for as few as seven days and as long as a month. And I pick it up. Make sure the lid's on good. I pick it up and I shake it a couple times every day and then when you're done with it you're going to strain it um, through a cheesecloth or whatever you care, care for using you're going to strain it and throw out all the stems and everything and then you're going to put it I usually put it in a very dark let me show you here this is my special cupboard Let's see, I have these, these are for the little ones, and I have some big ones. This is a big one that's got my elderberry tincture in it, but these you can find at your, you know, your local, um, your little uh, store, not the normal grocery store, but you know, like your health food store, or you can find, I found this at the Goodwill, but any little dark brown bottle and you make the label so if you're if you use 80 proof by the time you're done it's going to be half that which is 40 proof 
that's not going to be a tincture. This is for cough syrup that I made. This is not a tincture for children. You can make um, it also without vodka. So, but that's another video. But anyway, so I'm going to let this go. Um, I'll know by the color how long it leaves. I'm probably going to leave it for about two weeks. The longer you leave it, the better that the tincture is going to be. So, um, anyway, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. And um, I hope this helps when you go to make your lavender tincture. Have a cool day. Prepper Pam out.